What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your Senior Enlisted Advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Leah Matthews and Julie Mitchell. How y'all doing, ladies? Hi, good to see you. Man, it is a great day for Chief Chat, right? It is. I'm excited. So uh, I'm going to give uh, the parents a little, some game today. So for all the parents out there, if you've ever getting up, gotten up in the middle of the night and you're walking around your dark house and then you accidentally step on some Legos or Matchbox cars or <laughs> ping pong balls, just random stuff that's around the house, um, because your house is now a full-fledged maze or obstacle course, then our next guests are probably to blame for it. So, uh, so without further ado, please introduce today's guest, uh, Julie. So Chief, listen to these stats. More than 55 million YouTube, sub YouTube subscribers, 18 million fans on Facebook, 42 million mobile game downloads. Our guests today have taken the world by storm by mixing incredible athletic feats and a sense of humor. Their new book, 101 Tips, Tricks, and Cool Stuff is coming soon to shopmyexchange.com. Please give a warm Chief Chat welcome to Corey Cotton, Kobe Cotton, Garrett Hilbert, Cody Jones, and Tyler Tony. Better known as Dude Perfect. Hey. Thanks for having us, guys. This is amazing. Wow. Thank you guys for joining us. And everybody watching, you know what to do. Let us know where you're tuning in from. Uh, drop a note in the comments. Share some love with Dude Perfect there. And if you have any questions, we'll read those live. Now is a great time to enable your notifications so you stay in the know about our lineup for Chief Chat. So do perfect, man. How y'all doing today? Doing good. Beautiful day in Texas. Just hanging oh, yeah, out. Yeah. It's warm down here. Oh no! So we're in Dallas as well. So it's it's uh definitely warm. De definitely yeah, humid. Warm. I'm glad all that rain is gone though, because we we had like two months of, like r straight rain. So it April wasn't that. was really long. It just extended into May and a little bit into June. I don't know yeah. if you guys enjoyed the spring night last night. Though. That was great. It was yeah. unbelievable. I mean, 80 degrees. June 22nd. It's really Absolutely. And you won't get it again until March. So enjoy it while it lasts. Spring is a day here. Just one day. Awesome. But we appreciate you for being with us today. Thank you so much for uh, being on the, on the show. And uh, we look forward to, to learning more about you. So, you and on, yeah. And on that note, tell us about yourselves. How did you meet Become Dude Perfect? And what's the story behind your name? Yeah, so uh, Dude Perfect started about 12 years ago down in College Station, Texas. We were all uh, Aggies down there going to school, and Garrett and I were in the backyard, and uh, we had a little basketball goal and just a grass backyard. We didn't really have a, a hard surface to play basketball, so we ended up just making up a bunch of games and uh, doing trick shots, and, and I bet Garrett that he had to buy my uh, lunch one day if I made this shot from across the yard. Ended up swishing it. Perfect shot. He was very disappointed. Uh, had to buy my sandwich that day, but we came back to the house and then everybody wanted to try and outdo each other with a with a tougher shot or a no looker <laughs> or from over the house or over the fence or whatever. And so um, we pretty soon had a you know little video of 10 to 15, 20 shots and put it up on YouTube uh, with no intention whatsoever of turning it into a brand or business or even a viral video. And uh, a couple of days later, Good Morning America called and wanted to put it on TV. And that was the start of Dude Perfect uh, 12 years ago now. Wow. That's an, that's an awesome story. Yeah, here we are. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the name came chat. about, uh, we were sitting in two chairs in the backyard, me and one of the other guys, and we didn't have a cameraman at the time, so we put the camera up on the railing, and uh, we already had the chair sitting out there, and he looked through the frame of the camera, and everything was already perfectly centered, and so he said, oh, dude, perfect, and that was the original <laughs> audio from the videos, and so... Yeah. I think I ended up calling the first video Backyard Stuntman, which was not not anywhere near as good of a name as probably as Dude Perfect, although we think we probably could have done better. But Dude Perfect's a good middle ground for yeah. the uh, for the name. So that's where we landed. Awesome, awesome. Nice. I, I think I, I like remember it. watching you guys on um, uh, watching Sports Center or ESPN, and 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 I I saw you somebody throwing a, a basketball from the top of the stadium or football uh, in, into a basketball. Like you guys got some uh, awesome tricks there. Thank you. Yeah, the Kyle Field shot was one that we did early on. Uh, I think that was 2010, maybe. Yeah. Um, and that was that was one of the big shots that kind of put us on the map. I think it was I think it was that one that was maybe the most viral video of that year, whatever whatever year that was that we did that one. But that was just the first time that anybody had really taken 
trick shots out of uh, out of a gym, out of an indoor arena. So that was uh, that was one of the big breaks for us. Nice. I love that story about how you came up with your name. Um, and congratulations on 101 tips, tricks, and cool stuff, which released this week, and it will be available soon on ShopMyExchange.com. It is. We're ex so excited. There you go. We're it so is. excited it about the Don't new worry. book. It's not very worth it. Don't yeah, worry. it's perfect for it's perfect for a picture book fan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So what are your top three favorite tricks um, in the book that you could share with our audience? Mm. Before you got something? I, my, one of mine is the blitz ball. Yep. The how to throw a wiffle yep. ball in there. Yep. That's, oh. that's your, every, every person should know how to strike out your buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's I, I'd say the, uh, I like the world record. With the football and basketball world record videos, uh, we talk about both of those in the book, and it kind of goes through all of those. Those are two of my favorite videos that we filmed. Uh, getting to pull and those off. I'll say the airplane trick shot video. So there's like flip mode and then there's regular mode. And so those those videos are a lot of fun because you get to watch the plane glide and then smash a can or do whatever. Tyler did one shot in an arena. We rented it out for the entire day and it was a triple flip and it was so inconsistent. So he literally would just be like, doesn't matter where I aim it. And then it went down, had a needle on the front and he popped a balloon in it. It was the celebration was pretty intense. That was good there about oh man! Yeah. Seven was, hours later, you'll yeah. celebrate pretty much anything. Yeah. 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 We, so we haven't done another one of those. No. Yeah. <laughs> for a good reason. <laughs> Didn't revisit that video. Yeah, I, I can I can't even imagine how many takes it, it it takes how many takes that it takes to to get 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 a good shot. So imagine a lot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So can you tell us what the inspiration behind the book was and what kind of what are you hoping readers and families learn from? Yeah, I mean, basically, you know, we've been doing this for 12 years and a lot of people ask, like, how do you guys do what you do and how can I do this with my family and friends? And instead of us, you know, making some long winded explanation, we decided to put it all together in a book. Uh, like we said, lots of pictures make it really easy for you know parents and people to know exactly what items to grab from their garage or house and put together. Um, you know, it works out right now. A bunch of people are still stuck at home. Hopefully everyone's getting back to it pretty quick, but uh, everyone's looking for activities to do with family and friends. So we put it all together and uh, it's been fun. People are going to like it. I love it. Perfect timing. Um, and you you guys are, are leaders in the digital world. So many young people, including military kids, they look up to you. What advice do you have for military kids about persever perseverance and resiliency, which are you know, two traits that are beneficial to our nation's youngest heroes? And I bet that they're traits that you guys have had to use along, along your way as well. Yeah, I think, I mean, for us, uh, none of us actually made it to any collegiate level uh, athlete um yeah it is status or anything like that we're all ha high school athletes but we didn't make it much past that and so uh, a lot of what we do is not so much talent based but a lot more of just perseverance and uh hustle and i think that's um we owe a lot a lot of the credit to that is just not giving up on shots and um you know that's the benefit of having five guys is uh when, when one person's you know down about something or they're you know whatever, feeling like this shot's taking way too long. You have somebody else to step in or help rebound or uh, you just have a, you have a community, I guess, to kind of back you up. And I think that's an important aspect of what we do and what people latch onto is they feel like, oh, well, Dude Perfect is like, you know, I'm like the sixth member or that feels just like my friend group or I wish I could be part of that group. And so uh, I think that's a big part of the success that we've seen is people relate to that and they want to be a part of community and they want to be a part of that friendship. And so um, I would say, yeah, find, finding some like-minded friends and then, um, just don't give up a lot of perseverance and, and, uh, hard work is, is the only reason that we're here. It's certainly not because we're talented. <laughs> well, no, you guys are definitely talented. And, uh, I, I can tell you that there's a lot of parallels of what you do and what we do in the military community, because we depend on team. Uh, it, there's, there's no one person that does anything. And so, uh, whenever somebody's, like you said, somebody's down somebody's there to kind of pick you back up. And so that's awesome that you guys have built that community within yourself. And, and I'm sure you get on each other's nerves at some point, but just like, yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's, that's, that's part of life. But uh, thank you for those, uh, those words mm -hmm. for our, our military kids out there. Uh, so uh, we hear you got a tour launching, launching soon. And so yeah, we do. So what can fans expect at a dude perfect live show? Yeah, so we're doing 30 shows this year, starting in September. It got pushed back, obviously, with COVID. Uh, the first tour was in 2019. We did 21 sold-out shows. It was incredible. It's the first time for us to really go out on the road and engage with our fans, you know, in other states. And so 
Uh, we're looking forward to getting back out there, but the show basically consists of, uh, we try and take a piece of all of our different types of content. So we try and have an element of trick shots and battles and stereotypes and uh, try and put that all into about an hour and a half show. And uh, the response from the first tour was just incredible. It was great to see uh, all the fans and, and families, especially enjoying it so much. And so uh, we're excited to get back out there in September and uh, do a few more shows and, and get back after it. That's fantastic. I know everybody's looking to get back to normal and to be able to do fun things in person again. So, so from basketball shots to Lego walks, you guys are known for setting world records. In fact, in one video alone, you broke like 11 world basketball records. So how do you come up with these ideas and what's next on your list of tricks to try? Typically for the world records, the weirder, the better. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I like it. The, the world record book and deciding how Gosh, I think that one we might have a chance at. We've tried a few. One that comes to mind is how many grapes you can throw and catch yeah. in your mouth. And it was impossible. I, I don't know how the guy oh, did wow. it. I can't, I can't. You're going to try the longest we'll never though, right? We'll and Ty, Ty staying humble. He, you're actually looking at the world record holder for the most pencil snapped in a minute. He didn't lead with that. But I mean, when we're on the street. <laughs> you know, I just think, that you know? or most drink cans open in a minute. Don't forget that oh, one. Yeah. Double. <laughs> you want to find records that not a lot of people have tried. That and that's, not, that's, that's the, the key growing to the fingernails. It's too. It's too yeah. exhausted. People no. have done it for too long. No, not about too mainstream. Oh you got to start gosh. at age two. I heard. Yeah. You yeah. Got it. That's. Yep. So that, so that means we, on, on our intro, we missed a lot of a lot of stuff to kind of introduce you, you guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we'll, we'll we'll make sure we do more research while we uh, when we do our introduction. <laughs> And as you guys know, we have military kids and soldiers, airmen, sailors, Marines, guardians, and Coast Guard members. They're watching from all over the world. So do you have any words that you'd like to share with our heroes, especially for the military kids out there? No, I mean, I would just say, uh, especially for me, but for our entire group, you guys are uh, our heroes. I know we got to spend a little bit of time on the USS Nimitz and did a bucket list video on the aircraft carrier. Um, I guess that was, what, two years ago yeah. now? Uh, and that was an incredible experience just to see the community and the hard work that goes uh, unnoticed so often. And I know we get a lot of credit for being role models and, and kids heroes and stuff, but truly uh, we would not be able to do what we do without you guys. And, and that does not go unnoticed from our perspective. Um, we are huge supporters of the military, always have been, and uh, we cannot thank you guys enough for everything that you do for us and our freedoms and um it, it truly means it truly means the world 100%. awesome thank you for that so um kind of what advice would you give uh, what advice do you have for balancing like fame so i know you you, you guys started this with well, not the intentions of being famous or whatever but now that you have it um how do you stay grounded between fame and family because i know that sometimes they can be LA. You stay where your roots are. <laughs> Suburbs of Don't Dallas. move to the bubble. It'll get you. Gotcha. No, I, mean, I think uh, we, we always joke it's it's relative, right? I mean, it depends who you ask. You know, some people would give us that title. It's hard for us to feel that way sometimes. But I think the biggest thing for the five of us has been our faith. Uh, the five of us are Christians, and um, that has definitely grounded us. You know, we just know that no matter how many viewers or followers or whatever type of accolades we get, that's just never going to be what we put our hope and our trust in. And um, so I think that's been something that's continued to be at the, you know, the, just the heart and foundation of, of who we are. And I think obviously the friendship and the families that we come from is huge um, in that as well. So I appreciate the question, but that's yeah, definitely the heart of, heart of it for us. Yeah. I'm sure you, I, yeah. Go ahead. No, I'm, I'm saying I'm, I'm sure you all keep each other grounded too. Whenever somebody gets Definitely. gets a little gets a little wonky, you have to bring them back down. Yeah, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Back there. Faith, family, and friendship. Those are definitely three important traits and, and things that keep you keep you going. Um, I do want to pause for just a brief moment. We have um, our live Facebook feed where we have comments, and I wanted to share some of the comments with you guys and kind of where people are watching from. So Sonia is watching from Arlington, Texas. So here in North oh, Texas right. with us. Um, Ron says, good morning from the Bay, Tampa. Uh, Jason says, enjoying from Ramstein Air Base, Germany. Um, we have someone watching from Camp, Cor Camp Courtney, which is also overseas. Uh, Ryan Smith says, finally, dude, perfect. And we have some questions for you too. Mm -hmm. I just 
saw them. Marisa says, hi guys, my nieces and nephews are huge fans and they have a couple of questions for you. One, how long does it take to make one of your videos? And two, what's the hardest trick you've done and how long did it take to make it perfect? So I would say on average, uh, for like a trick shot video, we spend probably two to three days um, on a trick shot video, depending on what it is. Like the real life trick shots are a little bit harder. Those take a little bit more time. Um, but then uh, the hardest shot that we've ever done, or I guess the longest it's ever taken us was, was two days. We did a slingshot shot. Uh, gosh, that was probably just so inconsistent. Ten years Science. ago. We're not math guys. We're tired from those as well. <laughs> we, we don't do those anymore. <laughs> oh, yeah, had a duct tape pouch and a bunch of surgical tubing from the hardware store and we made a slingshot and it would launch the ball a whole lot further than we really wanted to shoot it and so we uh <laughs> had to shorten the distance a little bit um to actually pull it off and make it but we did we did pull it off after two days so that was the longest it's ever taken us to make one shot wow amazing so besides your book and the tour what else is ahead for you guys uh, we've got, um, yeah, a, a new series that we'll be launching, uh, hopefully the end of this year is when we're planning on launching that. Um, yeah, we've got two more bucket list videos that we're, that we're doing right now. We've recently launched, we kicked off that series with the video on the Nimitz. Um, and then we did the South Africa bucket list. We're doing Alaska and a vehicle bucket list. Tyler drove a monster truck and jumped a huge bus. That was pretty epic. Two buses. Two buses. Oh. That was a beautiful bus. Oh there my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I get yeah. to drive a tank in yeah. a couple weeks. So. <laughs> so he stood on top of a plane <laughs> and the sketchiest thing it was did flips. Wing yeah. Water. Wife wasn't too pleased with that one. Oh, I bet not. <laughs> <Pretty dangerous. laughs> that'll be that'll be a good video coming up though. But we we're excited about the content we have coming up. Uh not only the end of this year but next year too i think that's one of the one of the pieces of success uh for us has been continuing to diversify the content that we put out and um just mixing it up and that's the beautiful thing about like our over where we're sitting right now our overtime show is uh being able to try new things and um it's just cool to see fans latch on to more of our personalities now and being able to try new things and have them support that and and see what works so uh, it's a really cool place uh, where we're at right now as far as the content creation goes Oh, that's terrific. Um, and for our viewers who are watching, especially our military viewers, as a reminder, it matters where you shop and Dude Perfect's new book will be available soon on shopbankexchange.com. So guys, can you remind us where can we keep up with you online? I mean, you have millions of followers, so I don't think it's too hard to find you, but if you could remind us, <laughs> how can we find you online? And then um, where can we go to learn more about the fun things that you guys will be up to? Yeah, Dude Perfect on YouTube and then all of our handles on social on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all just at Dude Perfect. So we uh, we try and keep, keep it easy. all of those updated <laughs> and uh, yeah, as easy as possible. Awesome. So I know you guys got a, a you know, busy, busy gentleman. So um, Corey, Kobe, Garrett, Cody and Tyler, it's been an honor and a pleasure to have you with us today. Uh, thank you so much for spending time with us and our viewers and sharing some of the highlights from your you guys' impressive career. It, it seemed... I didn't realize that it was like 10, 11, 12 years old now. Like it's- Yeah, yeah. we yeah. don't realize that. We're <laughs> <laughs> just like 12 year old, so we look younger than we are. Yeah, yeah, you guys look, look really young, so. So next time, I think you need to have Chief come out to your Frisco headquarters and teach I him how to do that. some oh, trick shots. I saw, yes. saw you on the Today Show <laughs> trying to get people, that the host to kick the ball into the, the or the crumpled paper into the wastebasket. Chief could do that. Like yeah, like, come on, next Listen, time. I gotta, wait, I gotta wait till I retire now. If it's gonna help with my VA disability, then I definitely will be out there. <laughs> <That's it. laughs> there you go. But no, no, I, no, listen, no I appreciate you guys. No, yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate your time. Thank right. you. We wish you all the best with your book and your tour. And uh, if you if you don't mind, hold on just a second. I gotta get some information from you all. Uh, I wanna send you guys a gift um, uh, as a token of our appreciation. Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. awesome. Chief, check right. out. Chief, chat out. <laughs> Bye. Later.